Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, your time. Welcome to News in Details TV. Welcome our new members to the old ones. We love you guys. As a support us, may the Lord support you in everything you lay your hands. Amen. To the news in details. Guys, we know that the days are far spent. The day of reckoning is fast approaching, which is the D-Day, the election day. And we know that there are three candidates, Bola Asuwaju Ahmed Tunubu, Jagaban of Lagos. We have Atiku Abubakar. He was one time vice president of Nigeria. And we have Peter Wubi, also a governor of Anambra State, who left surplus, not deficit. Okay, guys, have you guys seen what is going on on social media? I'm going to read the news the way it is and the news in details. PFN denies endorsing Labour Party. Peter Wubi, hmm. The Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria says it has not endorsed the Labour Party nor its presidential candidate Peter Obi as rumored. The PFN National Publicity Secretary Bishop Emma Insong described the rumors as fake news on social media at the ongoing 17th conference on Friday. I want you to know that nothing like that has happened. In the history of the PFN. Hmm. Okay. Well, let us quickly, quickly take some comments from some Nigerians. When Peter Obi will be going from one church to another without being invited, and thinking Christians' vote alone will make him the president. Hmm. Another person says some of them knows once the country gets better, the people won't attend churches again and face their good. Life at work and with families. Bagam, somebody said. Another person said, If God is for Peter, will be who can be against him? PFN or not, the will of God and the will of God will be done for the suffering Nigerians. Their vote will prevail. Another person said, OB cannot win. He should go and sit down. Mm. Another person says, We are not begging for any endorsement because Peter OB has been endorsed by the Almighty Allah. Hmm. Another person says, you can also endorse him, don't you? Another person said, confused PFN. We don't care who you support because it seems like your bishops don't know the right thing to do. The masses are for Peter Obi, take it or leave it. Another person says, story, story. Majority of the PFN members will vote for Peter Obi. In fact, 99% of them will vote massively for the Labour Party. Known this and no peace of mind. We don't care. If they endorse him or not, Peter will be for, is for us, somebody says. Another person says, collect your Peter, collect your Peter victory card, PVC, and support the leading presidential candidate and most popular and widely accepted candidate and incoming president of Nigeria, President Peter Obi for better Nigeria. Obi Ahmed, somebody says. An person says, if they have endorsed him, his supporters will praise them. But now, that reverse is the case. Take your time to read the comments and watch insults thrown at the Pentecostal organization, somebody says. The masses don't need any endorsement from your assembly or any other such assemblies. With or without your endorsement, the masses are now ready. Did you hear us? With or without your endorsement, the masses are now ready to take the leadership of the country through their third person pronoun in the person of Peter Obi. QED, your assembly cannot continue in this lukewarm attitude. At the end of the day, we shall see where it take all of us to. Somebody says, we have endorsed him already. Make all of Una go rest. They have won. Take it or leave it. And somebody says, this is not about tribe. This is not about endorsement. This is not about religion. This is about a better Nigeria. And the only person that can put this together is Peter Obi. Yes, we have three presidential candidates, which is Jagaban of Lagos. He should be retiring, which again, in the person of Atiku Abubakar, he should be resting. 
the only energetic person that we have here is Peter Obi. Whether you guys like it or not, whether you guys endorse him or not, Peter Obi is the man for the game. And what is wrong for somebody going to church? Yes, we have seen that surfacing in the social media. So whether they endorse him or not, Peter Obi has already been endorsed in our heart. Okay, guys, this is what somebody is saying. But the question is, why are people so much afraid? Eh? Why, why the fear? Why are they coming to say, no, they did not uh, endorse Peter Obi? Yes, uh, there was these uh, pictures all over social media. You know, Peter will be in church. And it's not the first church he's going to anyway. He has been in so many churches. Uh, Peter will be almost everywhere. And just like somebody says, he's everywhere. He's the people's choice. That is the question. So why the people now that are even supposed to be speaking out, joining hands together, coming out to give a conference that no, 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 we did not endorse him. Oh, don't get us wrong. Oh, what are they afraid of? This is the thing we're talking about. What are they afraid of? That is the question. Listen. Nobody wants to do suffering and smiling any longer. We know the three people that are involved. Peter B makes them three. And the question is, the person that is more capable is him. And I'm going with one of the comment commenters in the comment section that said it is no longer about tribe. It's no longer about religion. It's no longer about, you know, uh, what they're saying. But it's now the people's choice, the common man's choice, which is Peter B. That is it. Even the houses are clamoring, Peter will be. Go to the east, Peter will be north, Peter will be south, west, everywhere, Peter will be. Because people are tired. People are tired. That is just it. Hmm? Look at the people that are even supposed to be speaking the truth. What are they afraid of? That is the question. Oh, are they afraid of the government of Lagos? Are they afraid of Ratika Bubaka? Huh? <laughs> Politics. We are watching. If you have not gotten your PVT, better go get your PVT and be ready. The day is fast approaching. It's, it's not even up to two weeks any longer. Highest a week plus, it will take place. That is the thing. You should get yourself ready. And I want to quickly thank all my followers. Thank you for your support. Uh, sorry we are like today, here, tomorrow, there. Um, pardon us. But we will always bring you the news the way it is. Thank you for your continued support. Please share out. If you haven't, let me know your thoughts in the section below. Please give us some likes so YouTube will recommend this video. Right? Do not forget to get your PVC. I love you guys. Bye-bye, guys.